The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden mobile pack opening video today. Guys, we have 50 of the Ultimate Legend packs ready to open. We're looking for the new Steve McNair and Jack Youngblood items that are in packs right now. Very, very nice cards. Um, there's also all pro packs that are currently in the game. You can go and purchase those if you want to. There's a lot of good stuff that we could potentially pull today. But I guess the big thing, I, like I said, is the Steve McNair and the Jack Youngblood. That's what we're looking for. If we can hit one of those, we're going to be very happy. If not, probably going to be a rough pack opening video. But maybe we'll get some elite uh, versions of the players or something like that. But um, with that said, guys, like I said, we're not going to waste much time. We do have... 50 of these packs ready and waiting for us. I've got a whole crap load of these large quick cells ready to... I keep calling them large quick cells. Why do I do that? Just habit, man. It's just habit. But I have 50 of the Ultimate Legend packs, like I said, ready and waiting to be opened. So that's what we're going to do here, guys. We're just going to try and rip through them pretty quickly today. And uh, hopefully we'll get some good stuff out of these things. You never know what you're going to get. First pack, we don't really pull anything much here, but we do get the Ultimate Legend Steve McNair Rookie Gold version. So that's got a little bit of value this weekend while McNair is in packs. Um, and of course, we do get the Ultimate Legend every pack as well. So that'll get us closer to getting some of those players that we need to actually be able to complete the set versions of these guys. So continuing on here, we get an Anthony Munoz. We also get a Marcus Cooper here. Um... A little season stars card there, 80 overall Matt Ryan. So there's still plenty of gold cards in this as well, which of course is going to bring me closer to doing more of these quick sells. I'm thinking I'm going to try and accumulate maybe around 100 of the quick sells because I think I've got like 59 of them or something like that currently set. Um, so maybe we'll uh, be able to do a pretty large quick sell reward pack opening, I guess. Uh, and maybe that'll give us some good uh, pulls out of that. You never know. It's hard to tell what you're actually going to get out of those things. A lot of people say you pretty much get crap, and I would pretty much agree. Do you get a Jack Youngblood gold card there? Like I said, if we can pull, if we're going to be pulling golds, might as well be the ones that are in packs this weekend, you know? Get a Marshawn Lynch here. Nothing yet out of these packs. Not really anything special. But there's still plenty of packs to go, guys. So don't don't be too disappointed yet. I, I'm trying not to be. Doug Free, probably my most hated Cowboys player, by the way. Doug Free, ugh, man. For how good the offensive line was this year, he was just not very good. You get a base elite Drew Brees there. Not really anything special, but yeah, Doug Free this past year, man. Like. Very, very good run blocker. Don't get me wrong. I mean, everybody on that offensive line is pretty much a beast run blocker. But when it comes to, like, pass protection, when it comes to getting penalties and things like that, it just feels like Doug Free is constantly out there screwing things up for my Cowboys, making it hard for us to get good drives going. I mean, even if he gets one penalty on a drive, it's, like, such a killer, you know? I mean, it's, it's really just brutal. So we get a, another Jack Youngblood here, another uh, rookie one. So I'm pretty sure those ones are probably pretty common, probably not a whole lot of value to them, but you never know. We'll have to uh, take a look. And we do get a 90 overall. This is going to be a big upgrade for my team. We can actually get two elites, the Jesse James that's in freaking like at one out of every five packs, it feels like. But we get a 90 overall Antonio Brown punt return card. This is an upgrade from what I currently use. I use like a, uh, a Tyler Lockett, I think. I, I think that's who I use. So we'll have to update the team. Uh, put him in the lineup there. But uh, yeah, not bad, man. That's actually probably our best pack that we've had so far. I, I have no idea what that Antonio Brown's going for. It could be nothing. It could be a lot. I really have no idea. I know there's not a lot of punt returners that are good in this game. So there's a chance that he might have some value. I really haven't looked at the punt returners much, though. So uh, yeah, continuing on here. Not really much in the gold cards, unfortunately. Not a lot of value in those. Still looking for something beastly here in today's pack opening. Not much yet. We've still got plenty of packs, though. So, still holding out hope. Holding out hope. We'll pull from the middle of the deck here. Come on. Ah, damn. Every time that I see a, a, an elite, I always think it's like something beastly. Even though I know that there's going to be a freaking elite in every pack because of these collectibles. But, like, I still feel like for some reason that I'm going to get something really good out of just, uh, just seeing red or something on the screen. I don't know. So, not much out of these. Max Strong there. The boost version. Some of those boost versions actually have some decent value to them. But uh, not really, like, huge value. We do get the uh, boost version there of Anthony Munoz. Still, man, waiting for waiting for one of those elite 
ultimate legend players. That's that's really what I want, man. Give me a freaking Steve McNair, please. That would be huge. I don't think I've pulled... No, I pulled uh, Reggie White, so I guess that's definitely the best pull that I've had in uh, Madden Ultimate Team uh, on mobile this year. We do get another Steve McNair there. So, those McNairs must be pretty damn common. They're probably going for like a thousand coins at this point, to be honest with you. So, I'm really not too excited when I get one of these friggin' every pack, I swear. But, like I said, again, we're getting plenty of gold cards, so that's good. Gonna be able to put those into some quick sales and bring you guys some cool uh, content eventually on that. We'll we'll go in and see, like, if you open up a hundred large quick sales, what are, what are you gonna get? How many, like... How many ones of like a thousand are you gonna get? How many of like 20,000? Are there any like 500Ks that you pull? That'll be a cool video to eventually do because uh, I really have no idea. Would you get a gold Charles Haley there? 84 version. <sighs> Come on, man. Like, feel like we're just not getting a whole lot out of these packs right now, to be honest with you. Like, these things are 50,000 coins each, and I definitely have not made 50,000 on very many of them, if any of them, to be honest with you. Paul Krause there but it really like I said it really only takes that one or two really nice pulls to really make up for everything we do get a Chris Hogan here 88 overall football outsiders good card I've I definitely have used that and it's a it's a solid wide receiver it's not like the, anything amazing but it's definitely valuable um if you use him on your team he's a good player so I I do like pulling that I don't think it has much um in terms of like value on the auction block or anything but you know still nice to pull some elites Continuing on here, guys, and damn, man, these things are getting brutal. We're just getting gold legends every freaking pack. We need something better than that. Come on. We need something better than that. Give me something, EA, please. Leroy Glover, come on. We just got to get we just got to get one of those beast pulls, man. We just need a Jack Youngblood, a Steve McNair. One of those two would make everything worthwhile at this point. Come on. Come on. Damn it. We're not even getting it. What's crazy is we're not even getting like regular elite pulls. I don't know how the hell that's happening. Like I have like what two, three, four, maybe base elite pulls or, you know, I guess not base elites, but you know, football outsiders or whatever, not ultimate legend elites is what I'm getting at. That's kind of crazy for how many packs we've already opened up. Let's see how many we're down to here. We've got what 15, 16, we're down to 17 packs. So we're more than halfway, but not, you know, we still got plenty of time here to still pull something good. We get another Sterling Sharp there. Not really anything amazing in most of these packs, guys, unfortunately. So hopefully you guys are having better luck in your packs than I am. And right here we get an 89 Leroy Glover. That's a nice pull, man. Any of these uh, base elite, or not base elite, like elite versions of the Legends have some value. Again, this one's an 89 overall. Probably not like huge value there, but still an elite. Very, very happy about that. We will certainly be able to make use of that one. So that's our best pull, I think, that we've had so far. Maybe with the exception of the Antonio Brown, like I said, because I don't remember what that goes for. So not bad there, man. Very happy about that. Still plenty of packs here to pull, guys. I think we've got like 13 or something left. And boom, we get a nice elite there. That is a season stars Antoine Bethay. 91 speed. Very, very nice card here. That is a really nice pull. 92 overall, that's a good-ass pull, dude. I Again, I don't know what exactly that's going for, but 92 overall, I'm very, very happy about that. So, uh, very nice. We're starting to get some luck going here. Back-to-back -back packs, there was something good out of them. And here we go, another Zach Martin Elite. So now we got three packs in a row with a base Elite, at least, or, or at some sort of Elite. So that's always uh, like a positive look, at least. Hopefully, we'll get one of these uh, beast-ass Ultimate Legends here. Come on. Damn, we broke the streak. Shit. Shit. If you guys have ever watched The Wire, that's what that's from. Shit. Damn it. Come on. Go looking for We got like 10 more packs here, guys. So we got 20% of the packs still remaining. Ah, nothing there. Come on. One freaking ultimate legend. Please. Please. Damn it. Still got some more packs to go. Come on, baby. Come on, it only takes that one. It only takes the one. I have to keep telling myself that because, like, when I just get all these freaking gold packs that are worth crap, like, damn it, you know? We just, like, you got to keep your confidence up in it. Come on. Ah! Damn it. This is, like, excruciating. Every freaking pack. We're down here to, like, what, four or five packs left, guys. Come on. And we get a Max Strong there. Another elite version of a legend. This is, what, the skill version of Max Strong. So, another Elite Legend, that's actually a good pull. I'm happy about that one. Very, very nice. 
Still got four more packs to go here. Come on, baby. Come on. Ah. Anytime, like the, the boost versions of the cards for some reason look like they've got some serious value to them, but I don't think they really do. Get that same Chris Hogan again, unfortunately. Like I said, I don't really think that one has much value. Down to two final packs here, guys. If you are enjoying these pack opening videos, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. We get a Patrick DeMarco fullback there in our final pack. Still hoping, man. Still holding out hope. If we can clutch it here, that would be freaking amazing. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're still one at a time here. Antonio Cromartie, Anthony Munoz, our ultimate legend badge, Doyle Green Beckham, JC Treader, and damn it, the same card to end it. <laughs> well, guys, that is going to do it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. Again, if you did, please help me out by dropping a like on the video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. Thanks so much, guys, for all the support, and I will talk to you guys again soon.